Ladies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today, today we're gonna do a beauty haul. And uh, do you guys, are you interested in the explanation as to like why the haul happened? Or should we just get into it? Because I know a lot of you are here for like the girl time, the hanging out, the Danny puts herself on blast and shames herself publicly portion of it. So what we could do is I could I could do that at the beginning and then put a little timestamp here so you guys can just jump to the goodies or or not. I do this often. I do this often where I talk to you guys in the present moment anticipating you're going to see this in the future and you can't really respond so it's not going to affect how I do this so I might as well just do it. But I feel like if it's interactive this way then we're doing it together, right? Okay, so here's the thing. I did two hauls they were kind of random. It was one of those things where it just ended up working out. It made sense. And here we are. The first one was actually one of those mental health, just do it for yourself kind of treats. The boys are home for summer and they are wonderful and they're independent and they follow directions. You know, it's not like they're bouncing off the walls or anything. However, it's still very, very, you feel like you don't belong to yourself. So I've been motivating myself, forcing myself to include them in the day-to-day -day activities that I need to do. That way they can see all the stuff that mom does, but also help, you know, like learn initiative. So anyway, we went to Walmart. We needed to get our groceries done. And I told the boys, I was like, oh, you know, I really want to find this concealer that my YouTuber friend was using on the internet. And she's not really, she, she doesn't even know who I am. If you hear weird sounds, we have landscapers. You know, just life. Okay, so yeah, uh, I was like, yeah, but I'll just do it after you guys go back to dad's. It's no big deal. And they were like, no, no, mom, like totally, let's do it, let's do it. We'll, we'll, we'll help you. I'm like, okay. So that kind of spiraled. Emily Noel posted a short on YouTube about her after sun, after pool makeup. And I was like, oh, brilliant. That's what I need in my life. I didn't need all of this. I just wanted the concealer. So I want to talk to you guys about this for a little bit. We talked about it a little bit in a get ready with me where I was telling you that I know that my goal was to be a cruelty free beauty product user. That was my goal. And I never actually reached, I never reached the point of being totally cruelty free. I've found it extremely difficult and more than anything, I think confusing. So I, there's a special thing about me where if something makes me feel dumb, I avoid it, you know, or if something makes me feel dumb, it really, really upsets me. So with cruelty free, I've struggled a lot grasping the parameters, what it means, who's in it, what the, like, are we, are we not, they say you are, they say you're not, this means something, this doesn't. It's just been very confusing and kind of stressful. So I've given myself enough grace to enjoy beauty products and have a goal of shopping cruelty free. But if something happens to come up that I want to try that isn't, I'm also not going to shame myself over it. Does that make sense? So I will, I will put in the effort, but if it just doesn't work out, like I'm okay with that. And I hope you guys will be too. And it's one of those things we spoke about in a get ready with me where we said, you know, it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to be wrong. What's not okay is to commit to something out of pride or ego, even though you don't feel that way anymore. So there's a lot of humility in saying, oh shoot, I was wrong, or oh shoot, I think I changed my mind. So this is me saying, I'm still trying. I'm not doing very well, and sometimes this happens, and I hope that you'll forgive me. Okay, so a couple of favorites that you already know are favorites that I've already talked about and used. The e.l.f. Eyebrow Pencil Instant Brow Lift and Taupe. I needed a refill and I was actually looking for the Duo. So this is a $3 eyebrow pencil. It's the only one that I love in terms of pencils and it comes in a two pack and I haven't been able to find the two pack. So I just got one. This, however, does come in a two pack at Walmart. Maybe your Walmart has a two pack. Mine doesn't. Like how, much, how much grass do they have to cut? Because, well, we don't have big backyards. Do you guys hear that? I really hope you can't. 
but now you're gonna be looking out for it. I think if you listen to me with air, earbuds, earbuds, headphones, you'll be able to hear it. So the uh, Clear Brow and Lash Mascara Duo, like the top and bottom, this comes in a two pack, and I love this stuff for those days where my, uh, I slept on my face. Do any of you guys do that? Or I slept on my face and my, I, my eyelashes are like pfft, crushed. So like I just kind of comb through them really fast, but I don't actually want to do makeup. Or I just brush through my eyebrows and just kind of wake them up. Because if you sleep on your face and your lashes are smashed, so are your eyebrows. And I have my dad's genetics, like 100% of my dad's genetics. The only thing that I got from my mom was these big eyeballs. But other than that, everything else is my dad. And so I'm going to have those crazy brows, the ones that grow out, and it's, it's literally getting worse. It's getting worse and louder. There's no way you can't hear that. 2,000 years later. That, that, was a, that was a long time. That was a long time, but we're here. We made it through. Let's continue talking about this. So the clear, the clear mascara and brow. This is actually a great product for the men in your lives as well. So if you have men that have the bigger, bushier brows, and like I personally love it. Parker does trim his from time to time because he also gets the crazy hairs that I'm doomed to get. You know those like really thick wiry that stick out? Like that's gonna be my future. So this is actually a great product for men as well to kind of tame down any sort of facial hair, even like mustache, beard or whatever, because it's not crunchy or super glossy. And I love that it comes in a two pack. So maybe scope out at your Walmart if you have the brows the brow products in the two pack because you save a buck. Hey, a buck is a buck is a buck. Another item that I got because I loved the initial one that I grabbed, I'm trying to find it, it's in here somewhere. Here it is. So, Sonia Castaneda here on YouTube showed us the Butter Glow Press Powder in Natural. That's this one here, huge fan. It's a really great sort of all over blush and highlight topper is the way that I would describe it for myself. So it's right there. Do you see that? It's almost like um, a very rosy, glowy, but also very natural looking glow. I like to use it as a blush topper or as a subtle highlight. On those days where I don't want it to be super, you know, like I roll around in Crisco, that's a great option for that. But there is a translucent version of it. And I was like, okay, well, if I love the natural glow one, I probably will like the translucent. And I think what I'm gonna, my vibes, my impression are that this is gonna be sort of a very subtle highlight. There's gonna be probably no tone to it, no pinkiness, just a highlight. So this might be a good option for like a uh, fair to light complexion as a highlight. Oh, that's really pretty. You know what it kind of looks like? A radiant translucent powder. Do you see the pink one? The, oh gosh, reverse camera angles. The pink one is there. So that would be a very beautiful blush for very fair tone or a blush topper or a very pinky highlight. This one here, there's no chunk, there's no glitter. You could see on my finger. It's a very subtle glowy powder. So that might be nice like on the areas of the face that you want, does it smell? Does it smell? I feel, I feel like it got a scent. Oh, it smells like tanning oil, like summer. Oh, that smells good. Like coconut. It smells like coconut. I don't know why. Terrible at descriptions. Well, I do, because I've always been. So this might be a great option for illuminating certain parts of your face without the super sparkle. You know what I mean? So super excited to try that. All right, my friend Jess, she's also here on YouTube, mostly on Instagram. You've seen her probably in the vlogs with me. Love Jess. She talked about the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. You guys, I'm on a kick of like natural skin, like natural beauty balms, just glowy skin, very, very light coverage. I want my skin to show for what it is, except my dark, dark circles. That that I will never learn to love. And that's just me being self-aware and honest. But the L'Oreal L'Oreal H Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm, she was talking about it. And I was like, I wanna try that. I wonder if it's like that new, 
Wow, that might be a really good tone or skin match. I wonder if it's like that new product by Bobbi Brown. That's right there. Do you see it like right above my wrist? So not sure if it would be a good match, but I know over, oh, let's try and cover this. Uh, over the medium, like if it, this is a light, light 20. There was a medium 30 and a medium 40. And the medium 30 looked pretty deep in the, in the little jar. It's a little light, but I think that because it's a balm, it probably warms up a little bit with the skin, kind of sinks in and melts. So we're gonna have to play around with that. I definitely know I'm not the shade above this one. So this is sort of like a balm, like a tinted balm that has like a firming component to it. I really just take those, anytime something says anti-aging or firming, I take it with a grain of salt because I don't think you can reverse anything, but I do think you can pay to reverse things, or I also think you can slow down. So we'll see. I tried to cover up that blemish, and we'll see if it changes tone. So remember what it looks like, guys. Remember what it looks like. See if it oxidizes at all. So I'm excited to try that. I mean, it's really cute. I love this little jar. It reminds me of the CoverGirl. Do you guys remember the CoverGirl uh, Olay Hybrid? I actually really like that product. I think I used it for a while when I just started my channel. I clean my brushes out pretty regularly, but I use combs and brushes. Like I use my combs and brushes on each other to clean themselves out. So like I have a comb that has like the little rat tail to do the part. And so I use that inside my brushes to pull out the hair. And then I'll take another brush against a brush and like brush them against each other to take out any sort of lint or like yucky stuff that the comb missed. But there's a brush brush. Look at this. It's a brush brush and it cleans out brush residue. So you see these little wiry, little wiry bristles are different lengths and they're put together like closely and separately. And so you're supposed to comb through your brush and it takes hair, lint, and build up out. I mean, it sounds promising. I wish I had, where are my little panda scissors? I had little panda scissors that one of you guys got me. I want to take it out so I can show you. Can I just, can I just yank? Oh, yeah, I can. So it's a tiny little, tiny little handled brush. And you just scrape against, it's pretty firm though. Like it's very wiry. It's definitely firmer than any brushes that I would use. So I could see how it rips out any sort of lint or residue that's in your brush. And I think you get a lot of buildup, especially if you use products like volumizing products, texturizing products, dry shampoo. So definitely gonna have to update you guys on that. Here's where we went a little bonkers. I went in for the hydrating concealer. The Neutrogena Hydrating Concealer, Emily Noel did a short on it, and she was doing her after pool or after sun makeup, and she made a really good point about saying, you know, when you're in the sun for a while, your, your skin feels kind of after, like really dried out, and the last thing you wanna do is go put makeup on. And to me, that happens when we go to Cancun every July, Parker and I, to celebrate our anniversary, I don't even pack makeup anymore because we're in the sun so long that putting the thought of putting on makeup, I'm like, oh, it just feels super uncomfortable. Well, she listed a bunch of products that she uses after sun. Her face looked beautiful put together, but it also didn't look like it was covered in makeup. So she used the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Concealer. It's drugstore, I didn't know what shade to get, so I got the light and the light medium. I think I'm gonna open the light medium, and if that's a match, then I don't need to keep the light for anything. But it's really cool because it has like a hydrating core designed to quench thirsty skin. It has hyaluronic acid, it's non-greasy, lightweight, and blends effortlessly. So I read the reviews and they didn't dissuade me because half of them were really bad and half of them were really good. So when that happens, I need my own opinion. You know, I don't wanna be led. So it looks sort of like a lipstick. And you see the tint is around the sides and then it has a hydrating core. I open the light medium. Let me see where I can do. I'll do a swatch somewhere I could show you. How about here? Oh, that is nice. It's definitely hydrating. It's very light coverage, but enough to say that it has coverage. I'm glad I didn't open the light. Oh, 
I knew I was going to put it in a place that was hard to show. You guys, you don't want to see me on a dance floor because if you think this is frustrating or confusing, like watch me trying to use my legs and arms and body at the same time. So, right? This is so, this is, this is just ridiculous. I'm just going to put it somewhere else. Where can I put it? How about here? I'll put it right there. I'm so embarrassing, you guys. I'm like the older sister you never wanted. <laughs> so right there, can you see it? I guess it, it's not really helping unless I can actually cover something, right? How about right here? You see that? Okay, there we go. So against my tan, you can see the, the difference in the shading. It feels really nice. But it definitely, you want to get to as close as your skin tone as possible. I think it pulls a little pink. It feels really nice. The shade, I would say it's accurate. It does give me like light medium vibes. It feels nice. I would love to see it on my actual face. So we're going to have to stay tuned for this. Maybe I can film my own Emily Noel inspired after pool makeup and see how we like that. We won't be opening the light because the light medium is actually pretty perfect for now. Speaking of Neutrogena, I I guess I got, I got sucked in in the moment. I saw this lip gloss and it was again a hydrating product. And in the summer, like everything is dried out. Everything is dried out. So we need all the help we can get. And I saw this shade, it was really pretty, soft blush. It gives me very, translucent vibes. Clear gloss is nice, but I prefer when it has a little bit of tone to it, even if it's like the faintest, the faintest tone, just so that it doesn't look super shiny. So if there's a little bit of tint to it or tone, it kind of swallows up a little bit of the shine. It doesn't look like you have straight top coat on your lips, you know? So I really thought this color was nice. Soft blush, Hydro, Blue, Hydro Boost, hydrating lip shine. And then in line with the cream products that we've been talking about or the summer makeup, big fan of cream products now at the moment, I think forever actually now. This is the hydrating multi-use stick from Neutrogena. It gave me very NARS vibes. What are they called? Multi-sticks? The NARS multi-sticks. And so this is a stick for lips, cheeks, and eyes. Pop of color, buildable blush, and soft enough for eyeshadow. It doesn't come in colors, I don't think. And if it does, I didn't notice. It says temptation on the back, but there was just one spot for this on the shelf. So it might come in shades, but this was the only shade that I saw there. It has a beautiful sort of sienna. Let's put that one right there. Okay, it feels nice. It's very glossy, so I definitely would never put this on my eyes. It has a little bit of a stick to it, but it doesn't feel like a permanent stick. I think it's while you're blending it out. So it's definitely a very natural glowy product. So this might be a good, you see right there on the tip of my finger, that's the perfect tone that it is. It would be a really great, just brightening up your skin. It almost looks like a bruise. Just brightening up this area of your face. It feels nice once you blend it in, but it is super, super creamy and super glossy. You definitely have to work it in. So I would say with a stippling brush or even a smaller beauty blender, like the little cheek ones. The Neutrogena sleeping mask. Like sleep masks are so popular, but honestly, who remembers to put on a lip product? Unless you have it on your nightstand, and I don't mean in the drawer, I mean like sitting on your nightstand, it's really hard to remember. So I feel more motivated and encouraged when it has an applicator or it's a squeeze tube. Like the Laneige, how it has the tub. I'm never gonna stick my finger into a tub unless I really love something. Otherwise, I'm gonna reach for something else. The hydrating sleeping mask is within the Hydro Boost line, so I think that just means they're hydrating, they have hyaluronic acid, and I love that it comes in a squeeze tube. Let's see what this looks like or smells like. I'm not getting a scent from it, although I am getting a scent from that physician's formula. Oh, that's nice. It has a very gel Vaseline texture to it with a beautiful shine. It's not sticky, so it's definitely, 
it has that feeling of like a Vaseline, sort of like a Laneige product, although I think it's a little bit shinier than that, than like a Laneige. Um, no scent, definitely no color. It does look a little pink in the tube, but there's no color. And I love that it's not sticky. Like if I'm going to bed and I'm putting in my retainer, the last thing I want is like something sticky on my lips or anywhere actually, like anywhere sticky. And then this very last like impulse grab, we were leaving the beauty product aisle and I saw NYX has these uh, milky glosses and the, I mean, they're scented. I think this is like a caramel, caramel shake, salted caramel shake. But I did like that it's sort of, well, let's see. It might not even actually look cute on me. Oh, these are super opaque. Okay, you're definitely gonna need a lip liner unless you're going for like the Playboy Bunny look. Do you see? It's like super opaque. So that's a really beautiful color. I think on its own, it might be a little, it might wash me out a little bit. I mean, it's a little concealer tone. The good thing is that it has a high shine, so that will help. But with a beautiful deep brown lip liner, you'd get a really beautiful 90s lip look blended out. Like I would, I would blend it out for sure. It just smells like soft vanilla. I'm not getting a really big, deep, impressionable, salted shake scent to it. So that might help. I know a lot of us are scent motivated or unmotivated. Dismo unmotivated. So like if something smells, it's either a really big deal or a really, really bad idea. All right, let's talk about Ulta. And with Ulta, something super interesting that happened was two of our favorite brand, two of our favorite, two of our favorite brands went on sale at the exact same time. So the brand that I use for my feminine hygiene products and Parker's beard brand went on sale. And so I was like, well, I guess this is a sign from up above that I need to restock on our favorites. I am a little bit of a, in a panic because the sale was higher than usual. So I'm, I'm nervous that maybe we are eliminating certain brands either from these retailers or from the world. So fingers crossed, send me some good, let's make some room. Send me some good juju. Send me some good vibes for, um, for just everything we love that gets discontinued. Parker's favorite beard products were on sale. There's one more item they gave him, where is it? Oh, there it is. So Parker loves the brand uh, Billy Jealousy. I discovered it totally on accident at Ulta. Turns out they're, they're in Dallas. How do you say that? They're, they're local. <laughs> and uh, it all started with the beard balm. So Billy Jealousy beard balm, the red one. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Parker actually has eczema and he suffers a lot from really dry skin. So this stuff is miraculous to keep the skin under his beard super hydrated. So we love this stuff. And we've sort of branched out after trying this. Now we're fans of the matte pomade for his hair. He doesn't like his hair to look shiny, but he does like it to hold. And he has like super thick, I mean thick, stick straight hair like bowl cut when he was little, you know what I'm saying? And this stuff is awesome, he really likes it. It also rehydrates well, so he doesn't have to add more product later in the day. And most recently, we tried the Beard uh, beard Wash, Beard Wash, again, the red one. They have different scents and different, like, they look different, so you'll know which one to get if you need to restock. This is the second time we've gotten this one, and he really likes it. So it gets really in there, and um, it's like a beard shampoo, and it breaks down the balm because, I mean, whether you like it or not, it's a balm, so it's a little greasy or oily, but hydrating enough to get through the beard, keep your beard shiny, but also keep your skin feeling soft and not drying out. So this stuff really just cleans it out really well. They had a free gift with purchase, which I thought was kind of cute. It's like a little wooden comb. I borrow it sometimes to comb through my mustache. And so he got a little wooden comb with his stuff. Let's talk about the uh, products that I love getting discontinued. So Sweet Spot Labs was 40% off. 
That's never a good thing. I mean, it's a good thing for my wallet, but it's never a good thing in terms of like a store because, I mean, you see stuff go on sale, buy one, get one 25% off, you know, 30% off the brand. Certain promotions, buy two, get one free or whatever, but like 40% off the brand. And here's the thing. Uh, we talked about this before and it's a controversial subject. We're talking about our feminine parts. The Sweet Spots Labs pH Balancing Wash. This is an all over body wash. I just use it for my nether regions. You don't wash the inside. I know I have to, I always have to say this because I get scolded when I talk about this. Like you don't go in there. I'm like, you don't, you don't go in there. It's just for the outside parts, you know, that hit your panties and in the summer probably aren't the most welcoming. So the wash and the wipes, oh my goodness. They smell so good. They are super hydrating, super refreshing, uh, and the husband seems to enjoy it. So I stocked up. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you how much I stock. I'm, I'm afraid. I am afraid that they're gonna, well, look at this one. This is a free gift with purchase. Like we made, like we came out on top with the free gifts when it came to this haul because all of our favorite brands were on sale and they were adding free stuff to whatever you ordered. So we got like the the little version, you know, like the little, you go with me to Cancun in July. I definitely had to stock up on the, just close your eyes, on, on those. I'm afraid, like I want to, I don't even know my Twitter anymore, but like, I wanna go out on Twitter and be like, hey, sweet spots, or maybe I could slide into their DMs. Like, are you getting discontinued because I have, previous trauma that I'm trying to work through and uh, all of the things I love get discontinued. So when you have a 40% off sale, my antenna goes up and I get really worried and a little nervous. I got a restock, a refill of my favorite shampoo, the Biolage Volume Bloom. I've told you guys that, you know, I've been using Unite products a ton. Love their leave-in treatments, like their spray conditioners there, what keeps my hair curly and awesome. But this shampoo is still like my number one, number one, super duper favorite. It gives me volume, it doesn't make my hair dry, but also doesn't make it oily like it normally is. Really love it, smells super good, and it doesn't damage my beautiful summer hair that thanks to Katie, you guys see, I went to see her a few days ago and I told her to give me a root smudge because it was like super, it wasn't super blendy here. And look, isn't that wonderful? Like props to her. She always knows exactly what I'm asking for even though I very, uh, what's the word? Uncouth? I'm not very, I, I'm, it's very uncouth the way that I describe it to her. <laughs> but she gives me what I am imagining. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about uh, free gifts with purchase and everything. The uh, curl line, from Living Proof was having a sale. I think it was during the hair event or whatever, and all of the, the entire line was either 30 or 40% off, I can't remember. So I decided to try the Living Proof Curl Defining Gel and the Curl Enhancer. So right now is a very rare occasion where I've actually done something to my hair, but this whole summer, it's just been straight up curly. So I'm always on the hunt to try and find the products that like really define my curls or make them look more fabulous, make them look better. So I haven't tried them. I'll definitely have to update you guys on that. And because we bought hair products, you got free stuff. So I am a diamond or platinum or whatever, whatever the highest tier of rewards for uh, Ulta is. And so they gave me a free Olaplex, like full size, full size Olaplex, free, because I was buying all this hair stuff. And a tiny perfect hair day, look at that. That's the dry shampoo I have in my hair now. I actually didn't wash my hair this morning. This is last night's hair and I curled it this morning, but I sprayed a lot of perfect hair day and you can tell i mean my hair doesn't look greasy but it certainly doesn't look clean and i'm only saying that to give you perspective of how oily my hair gets so i washed it last night i sprayed the dry shampoo this morning and although my hair doesn't look oily it doesn't look clean so it works most people rave about this, but I don't think there is enough 
dry shampoo or Jesus in this world to make my hair not look oily all the time. So anyway, last most exciting thing, you know when you get that email that's like, if you spend X amount of money right now within the next four hours, we're gonna give you another free gift with purchase. I just wanted the bag with daisies. Like, how cute is that? I opened it when it arrived just to see what samples were in here. I can't close it. So I don't know how Ulta packs this bag so well. I mean, just the samples alone, that's probably like $80, $100 worth of samples because these are travel size products. Like, does anyone need self-tanner? I don't, because I'm tan. Like, the, you got self-tanner. You got volumizing foam from Diva Curl. Like, travel size. I mean, that's a good size. This was super exciting for me because I already love this. It's my uh, favorite shampoo and conditioner from Biolage. In travel size, there's a little. You all know how I feel about little stuff. I mean, you got a whole set of lashes in here. What? Yeah, I mean, it goes on and on and on and on and on and another, like, tan. This brand's expensive, right? I'm pretty sure this, this is a luxury brand. It's gradual tan. Can't use it. I mean, I guess I could, but it's not really my thing. Then we got Pureology Hydrating Minis, shampoo and conditioner. Like, wow. I think I'm set for travel for a good bit here. What else do we got? Morphe Mini Continuous Setting Mist. Oh, wait, hold on, it's dusty. So, a travel size setting spray. What? What else we got in here? That was the good stuff. Oh, this is fancy stuff too. Look at this, Confidence in a Cream from Mick Cosmetics, so cute. Did I put these back? I showed them to you, right? Um, pimple patches, definitely could use the, let's see, actually, what's the update? Okay, it oxidized just a little bit. I like it. All right, not bad, L'Oreal. Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. Holy mackerel. Oh, this is heavy. What is this? Good Molecules Clarifying and Cleansing Bar. Soap-free cleansing bar with salicylic acid, clay, cacao powder. Oh, this is like an acne soap. Definitely could use that. I'm going to be like, hey, Parker, go to town back there because holy mackerel. Full-size Epic Smoke Liner from NYX, love that color. It's like a sage green. I mean, there's more. Way, way, that's like Sephora stuff, you know? Way, we got Fenty Beauty. What is this? I know it's little. Fenty Beauty, oh, gloss bomb. Look how pretty, that is so pretty. I know someone who's gonna love that little gloss. What else? Fresh, deep hydrating emulsion from Fresh. You know that super fancy rose, rose brand? Wait, this way, hold on. Lack of coordination, on blast. Just, just pretend you saw it nice. What is this? Clean, oh, we got perfume. Warm cotton, one of my favorite scents from Clean. I'm so glad they're in Sephora now. I remember when they were like an indie brand, they were so hard to track down or to find. Oh, it's a rollerball, love that. Hold on. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, that smells so good. I'm so happy it's in a rollerball. That's gonna be carry on, it's gonna be perfect. Don't need to spray people, doesn't need to blow up or anything. Gimme brow, man, this is just never ending. So, uh, smoothing body lotion, Lola V glossing detangler. Oh, I'm putting this in my bathroom immediately. Lola V is the new uh, Jennifer Aniston brand. So this is a hair detangler, but it also makes your hair shiny. So I gotta try it out. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna make my hair greasy like most things in life, but you know, this is what we're here for, to try things out. What is this? We're so little. Matte fluid eye paint. Look, it's so small, it's so small. Pre-cleanse, pre-cleanse from Dermalogica, tiny little tub. Oh my goodness, so much good stuff in here. Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown, I was like, Ugh, up here. Bobby Brown, smoky mascara, teeth whitening gel. God, this is more exciting than my actual purchase. 
Food for Soft Detangling Hydrating Conditioner. <laughs> Got some little colognes. Look at this. Prepare to go, aww. It's a tiny, it's a tiny elf poreless primer. <gasps> like, they should sell this size because how long is that gonna take you to get through? You know, it's perfect, especially during summer when people are traveling a ton. I don't even have enough room for all the samples that were in here. But look at the bag. How 90s is that? Like daisy everything, you know, daisy flowers, peace signs, yin yangs. So cute. I did it all for the bag. I did it all for the bag. I'm so happy that Sweet Spots was having a sale. I really hope that they are not getting discontinued because I know my Target doesn't carry them anymore. Only certain Ulta's carry them. I'm very excited to try Living Proof, but Living Proof is never a brand that I'm ever gonna buy regular price, ever. I think it's extremely overpriced, but it's also a luxury hair care brand like Kenra and stuff, so I just, maybe I'm not used to it, I, I don't know. And then, um, you know, Parker stuff. We have to buy it anyway, so might as well get it when it's on sale, right? I forgot to show you guys this, but I didn't get it at Ulta or Walmart. I just ordered them on Amazon. They're my favorite face wipes, an essential for summer. Like you need these during the summer. If you wanna wipe your face, you don't wanna contaminate your skin, you don't wanna clog your pores, these wipes from Ursa Major will change your life. They smell like a spa, so if that's something that you don't like, that very organic spa scent, you might not like it, but it doesn't linger, and your face is extremely squeaky clean, but not dried out. So I had to restock these, and the only place I found them was Amazon. So I'll definitely link those for you guys, and everything else that I talked about will be listed in the description box of this video. Good old fashioned beauty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I also hope that you are not very disappointed in my extreme lack of coordination. <sighs> I mean, I'm disappointed enough for the both of us. So I'll make sure to list and link all these products in the description box of this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.